we'll be performing a full arterial assessment, ankle brachial index and toe brachial index measurement with one device, MACM tablet. First, we will do the ABI measurement. So after choosing the patient, we will choose the ABI application and this application will guide us through the cuff placement. So we make sure we place the cuffs correctly, we fasten them tightly enough and we follow the guidelines completely. First, we will place the arm cuffs and based on the printed guidelines, we will turn the cuff so the artery mark is pointing towards the inner arm. And we will do the same thing on the other arm. Next, we will place the ankle cuffs. Again, making sure that the medial ankle mark is pointed inwards about two centimeters above the ankle. And we do the same thing on the left leg. When we press the start button, the arm cuffs start inflating first. This is to determine the higher of the two arm blood pressures before the measurement jumps straight into a three cuff simultaneous measurement. The smart arm detection determined that the arm with the higher blood pressure is the right arm and all the colors correspond to the color of the cuffs. So after a couple of seconds, the pressures level out and you can monitor the pulse waveforms for the entire measurement. Right away after the measurement is concluded, we receive the right and left ABI and the calculation is put straight onto the PAD reference scale but you also receive the individual pressures for each extremity, the oscillation graphs for each channel and also the pulse waveform for the entire measurement. You can review the patient's history and monitor their trends and you can also add any comments. So in a minute you have your ABI. We can continue to the toe brachial index measurement immediately. We will just need to remove the ankle cuffs. After we have removed the ankle cuffs, we will choose the TBI application. And very similar to the ABI application, it guides you through the correct cuff placement. The toe cuff placement is very important here, so you get the accurate results. We will take the module with the toe cuffs. And because the measurement is done completely simultaneously, we will put the cuffs on both toes at the same time. You should make sure that the probe makes very tight contact with the skin. And we do the same thing on the other toe. The toes also have integrated heat sensors. So if the toes are too cold, the device will let you know. After you have placed the toe cuffs, you have your arm cuffs from the ABI measurement. We can continue on to the toe, toe brachial index measurement. First, using the reference waveforms on the bottom, you determine if the signals are strong enough. If not, you can increase or decrease the amplitudes. After you're satisfied with that, you start the measurement. It is safe to perform a TBI measurement completely simultaneously. So in this case, we will not have the first part of the measurement with the smart arm detection, but it goes straight into a four cuff measurement. You can monitor the pulse waveforms throughout the whole measurement, and you can also review them at the end.
Then after the measurement is concluded, you can determine at which point the pressures returned to the toes and you confirm your, cho your choice. We received the right and left TBI, which are again automatically put onto the PAD reference scale, but we also receive the individual pressures in each extremity, as well as the PPG pulse waveforms and the oscillation graphs for the arms with pulse waveforms as well. You can monitor the patient trends and you can add any comments you have. So there we have it. Very quickly, very simply, very reliably, we have ABI and TBI for complete arterial assessment.